G'day, it's Jeff from Hardwood Mills. Just gonna show you the GC26. We've done quite a few upgrades on these machines. Uh, so the major upgrade we've done is a bigger cutting gullet. Now, how we've achieved that is by adding an idling, an idling system into the machine. You can see here the idler. I'll just show you quickly for people who haven't seen these before how they work. So you've got a centrifugal clutch and uh, that just takes the, uh, the power down onto the band, band wheels. Same on this side, this is just an idler. Um, we have a loose fitting belt here. Uh, we found with really tight, accurate belts, the sawdust will pack. So we just put that in, they don't come off and they run extremely well. This is a safety cutout switch. Now these are essential, you have to have these, Australian law says you have to have them. Uh, so what happens is if the doors fly open, the machine will stop. It's all about safety. So I'm just going to show you the paint, the paint work. So what you've got here, we've uh, we've done a hammer tone system. So just a, a more attractive, more durable painting system on the outside of the mill. We've also upgraded the water bottle to a lot larger water bottle. Um, now. Uh, if people put fancy, you know, chrome plated aluminium sort of tanks on these machines, we don't like it. You've got to see what's going on inside your tank. If you run out of water in Australian hardwood, you're going to cook your blade. That's why we keep these basic uh, 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 water tanks on the machine. I'm just going to show you our major upgrade on this machine, which is the all uh, the all new electric start. So the machine's come. There's no wiring, nothing like that. If you're terrible at wiring, like I am. Uh, you know, you just take it out of the box and it's right to go. So it's got a battery fitted, the battery's charged up, ready to go. Just turn the key, away you go. Emergency stop. Now, that, again, that's an essential thing. It's an Australian standard that has to be on the machine. Um, okay, now blade support arm. So, see the blade support arm here? What this does, is if you're cutting wide, the log will support the, the timber. But if you're cutting, say, just uh, you know, a couple of inches or maybe up to eight inches, you can bring it in. You can even bring it in right in close to, say, inch boards, like that. Now, we've also upgraded, we've uh, powder, co uh, powder coated the bunks, but we've fully galvanized the track system on the machine. A lot of people have asked us to do this, so we've done this. It's an outstanding finish, I think. And as per usual, Every machine we've ever sold in Australia has always been a six metre machine, six metre long bed. We find it's ridiculous that someone would sell a machine at four metres. You can only cut, you know, three metres or something like that. With these, you can cut just over five metres with your standard sawmill. So they're an excellent purchase, good value for money, and you're buying a machine from people who are Australians who actually know what hardwood is. Uh, you know, um, you know they don't pick oaks hardwood or something like that. We cut iron bark. We cut all the nasties, red box, uh, wahabi over in Western Australia. We've cut it all. A gigi, um, uh, which is an incredibly hard timber. These machines will do it, and you'll have our support, and you'll have our technical expertise on the end of the phone if you have any issues with that with, with the machine. We can help you out. We can get them cutting right, and they will cut right every time. 